Hello everyone. We have done with the calculation of the indices of NSE and BSE and some of the terms which is used in the stock market. So today we are going to speak about short term, mid term and long term trading. Short term trading is a stock trading done from one week to couple of months is called short term trade. Okay. So the time duration is one week to couple of months. Then mid term trading stock trading done from one month to couple of months say 6 to 8 months okay the time duration is 6 to 8 months is called mid term trading and the long term trading generally all the investors are going to prefer this type of the trading why because in the long run the stock market is going to increase or the value of the stock will appreciate Stock market trading done from the couple of months to the couple of years is called long term trading. Companies whose fundamentals are good and have the good future plans, then the stock of these companies are used for the long term trading. Generally, traders having the good capital go for the long term trading. So, the people who have the good capital, they can go for the long term trading. So, here is the stock market condition. There are two ways to describe the general condition of the stock market bull market and bear market so this one we are already studied about the bullish condition and the bearish condition so before going for the explain let me to go directly to the stock market information here i have opened the money control app i will click for the markets and in the markets i will get many types of the markets i will click for the nifty okay so in the nifty i will go for one particular company so if you scroll down you will get the top performers the stocks which is contributing for the upward movement of the market here the stocks pulling up the indices up and the stocks pulling down the indices so i will click for the infosys in infosys you will get the chart here itself there are three types of the charts basic chart is there advanced and interactive charts are there and technical charts are there. I will click for the technical chart so that we can get the in detail information in the technical chart. So I will click for the line charts. Okay. So it is in the candlesticks. I will click for the line chart for the basic analysis. So line break is there. I will go for the just lines. Here you can check the movement is upward. Correct movement is upward so when the stock market price movement is upward then that is treated as bullish type of the share see the bull market indicates the constant upward movement of the stock market here is the constant upward movement you can check upward movement a small little bit fluctuations it is definitely there in each and every company stock market and obviously at the end that is the bullish one correct the next one is the bearish type of the market so what is bear market will go for that through the stock market information itself in the stock market i will click for the nifty again in nifty i am having stocks which is pulling down the indices so i have clicked for the reliance industries and there i have clicked for one month's information i got the chart here itself one month information you can see the line chart this is the basic chart there is no much in detail information but see the movement it is downward when the company is having the downward movement in the stock market that is treated as the bearish type of the market okay a bear market indicates the continuous downward movement of the stock market stock that seems to be decreasing in the value is prescribed to be a bearish one okay so here it is a bearish type of the market remember fine let's continue so these all are the important indices in the world snp cnx nifty so that is a country the weightage is market capitalization sunsec 30 bse india market capitalization is there nasdaq so nasdaq is of usa here is also market capitalization ftse of market capitalization from uk Hong Seng from the Hong Kong and market capitalization weightage it is 
and Dow and Jones USCI just the prices Nikkei 225 from the Tokyo it is the prices so these all are the famous indices of the stock market or the stock exchanges fine benefits of investing in the shares possibility of increase in the value of the shares which you have already seen so investors main objective is capital appreciation or the profitability security and the liquidity correct one of the objective is the profitability or we can say it as capital appreciation and if you are invested in the stock market for the long term increasing the value of the shares possibility is then income from the dividend obviously the profitability means the return so investor will focus on the return to while investing so that is also one of the objective that is also the benefit easy liquidity if you are invested in the stock within two days you will get the liquidity that means if you are sold one stock today after the two best days on the third day you will get the amount of the stock which is sold from you correct right? so that is what the easy liquidity and even you will get the tax benefit of the income earned such as exemptions under section 10 and dividend section 54 for calculating the stcg and ltcg that is short term capital gain and long term capital gain so as you know the dividend from the indian company is exempt from the tax for what reason because dividend is issued only after deducting the taxation and in indian taxation system double taxation is not valid then the section 54 of calculating the short term capital gain and long term capital gain you have studied this one in your undergraduation and you know just before some years the long term capital gain is exempt from the tax and after 2018 i think it is become taxable at 10 percent causes for the price fluctuation there are fluctuations in the stock market right you have seen that in the chart so what are the causes for that fluctuation obviously demand and supply of the stocks and the bank rate so repo rate reverse repo rate for dc so that will directly affect the investment savings and the lending so that is also affect the stock market speculative pressure the speculators will play the game in the stock market so because of the speculators the demand and supply factors may vary the speculators are also one of the reasons for the fluctuations actions of the underwriters and other financial institutions there are some underwriters who are going to sell their underwritten shares when the price is more correct so because of the underwriters action prices of the stock market will fluctuate changes in the company's board of directors as i seen the leadership and the vision is also very important to get the reputation if there is a changes in the board of directors that will also affect the stock market the financial position of the company is very important the investor will focus on that too and if the company is in loss the prices will definitely fall let's see that with an example okay in the stock market itself i am going to search yes bank so you know the yes bank position what happened with the yes bank because of the scam in yes bank see the prices are suddenly decreased correct then after because of the spi interruption it is little bit increased and also it is decreased so the financial performance also affects the market fluctuation then trade cycle so you have already studied about the trade cycle uh, a company is in which trade cycle that also affects the company's market prices and the political factors you know recently the us election results are came out and because of that election results india stock market is bit increased so not only that home country's political condition even other countries political condition also affects the market fluctuation then the sympathetic fluctuations sympathetic fluctuation is nothing but a regular fluctuations because of the regular trade and because of the as usual market transactions okay we'll go for other factors so these all are the indirect factors expected monsoon will definitely affect the stock market because each and every company's raw materials will be from the agriculture correct 
then personal health of the head of the government or the chairman of the company so this is also related if the chairman or the head of the company's health is affected for example if the health of uh, ratan tata is affected then the tata company's share prices will be fluctuated then oil prices in the international market see this affects each and everything each and every company will use the transportation and definitely the oil prices in the international market will affect the market price so this is about the today's class in coming classes we will go for some of the institutions